yeah, obviously there's tons of people who care about the climate, tons of people who are trying to do something about the climate, um, but we're all here under the flag of Extinction Rebellion to spend this day together, and that, I mean, that really means something. Um, so thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we're gonna have, oh uh, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have some people share some words about um, what Extinction Rebellion means to them and what they've gotten out of joining the movement so far. Um, it's gonna come up in a little bit. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, we're a little behind schedule. So we appreciate your guys' uh, flexibility and kind of rolling with us. We're gonna get some music playing in a little bit. Um, we're gonna get some nice jazz here by three. Um, and we got some nice drums and guitars. Um, 4 p.m. about, there's going to be a more formal kind of rundown on what Extinction Rebellion is. But until then, we hope you guys enjoy just kind of chilling with us a little bit, um, listening to some music, listening to some inspiring speeches from people discussing why they're in this movement. Um, so I can just get started with a couple words of my own. Um, yeah, I mean, Extinction Rebellion, uh, the past week, I don't know if you guys have been following the news coming out of London and other places around the world, but we've been doing some pretty amazing stuff, right? Like, we have actually started a mass movement of people who are learning how to take action for the first time on climate, and that's, that's huge. And we, can't, we can never dismiss how big of a deal that is, because, I mean, we all care about climate, right? I mean, you talk to any person under 29, they'll be like, oh yeah, like, we gotta do something about the climate. Everyone cares about it, but it's completely different to think that something is an issue and something should be done about it and actually learn the skills and you know confidence that it takes to really take action on it. And so the fact that we are catapulting ourselves into that level of expertise is amazing. And it makes me so proud to be here with you guys today with people who both have experience making change themselves and people who are just interested in learning, you know, because that's that's what it's all about. That's how this movement gets started. Um, so I don't know if I don't know if you folks have heard about um, the work we did at the ICC earlier uh, this week and also uh, the action that we did at Shell headquarters. But um, we've been hard at work. We've been really hard at work. We've been putting we've been putting our bodies on the line to try and to try and save this world and. Uh, We've gone to jail, and we have taken days, hours out of our week, basically blocked the whole week off. Let's be real, guys. Let's be real. Uh, yeah, a lot of us have not been going to work, not been going to school, because we've been doing this all week, right? because um, brought us all together. Um, and while it's so important to take action and to learn how to do that, it's also important, though, to just take some time to hang out, you know, take some time to to build our relationships with each other, to affirm the type of world that we're trying to create together, and um, learn how to model that, you know? So um, while, of course, we'd love for you guys to join us at the next action, um, to attend a training, to learn how uh, nonviolent direct action works, how it can produce uh, seismic change, build a movement that can catapult us into building the type of world that we want to build, um, we also want you guys to learn how to chill with us. Um, so thank you for being here. Um, I hope you enjoy the day's festivities. Um, and I hope you connect with some really cool people and learn what this movement is about, not just the action that we do, but also just uh, the type of world that we're trying to create and the type of relationships we want to build with each other in the process. Because um, I, still, I still think that that is what's really at the heart of grassroots organizing. It's the relationships, um, the people you meet along the way, um, and ultimately,